you're going to have fun. This is going to be a very exciting upcoming year because especially going back, your coach is not going to recognize you. Wow. Boy, I hope you got that one on, Bill. I would say he's got a good frame. He's smart. He's got a 12 to 6 curveball, and he's got a good fastball. There. How'd that feel? Pretty good. That was absolutely mechanically perfect. Throwing is an elongated muscle activity. <laughs> wow. So the direction you take your belly button is where your body's going to go. So you basically load that to drive your belly button to the glove. When you land, you replace it with your back shoulder and we get speed. Okay. Big deep breath, relax. Good. And the back leg is right where it started and that's right back where it goes. Big deep breath, relax the elbows. Now we're gonna drive the belly button right to this. You're going to keep your head right on that and let your body to kick rotate around. Good. Good. So if I want to be Scrooge and piss on the Christmas tree, I've got to not give them a good pitch to hit and disrupt their timing. That's how we counter that. We know what they're trying to accomplish and we figure out how we can disrupt that. And it's basically late movement, location, Every hitter's got a hold. You can basically, a hitter will tell you what they want to hit. A guy that stands up to the plate, tall, he likes to look down at the ball. It's a low ball hit. Probably has trouble with the ball above his elbows or above his belly button. Mm -hmm. A guy that's down here likes to hit the ball up. So that's a guy you work down. A guy on top of the plate usually has trouble with the ball away from him. He wants you to nail him inside and he usually fly and let it go. A guy away from the plate has trouble with the ball in. They line up telling you, this is what I want, help me. And you go, I'll help you. I'll put you out of your misery. I love the fact you're smart because I can see the wheels turning. You don't look like, what the hell is he talking about? You understand it. fastball is really good right now. It's not like, well, it's a little better, but I wouldn't use it too much. No, it's a weapon. Wow. There was a lot more velocity in that one. Wow. It's a pop there, huh? That's a legitimate fastball, by the way. Yeah. Feel it? I can see the grin on your face. Bam! I didn't know you were there. Depth perception, I'm going to throw through me like I'm a goalie. you got to hit the net of your mom. Let's right. see what happens when we add depth perception. That ball was fast. Set. I've already taken this where I want it to go, and that knows how to push it. Then I come set. Just come in. Boom, right there. All right. Heavy feet. Heavy feet. That's your problem. The heavier your feet, the faster you are. Take your head where you want the ball to go. Wow. Yeah. Hi there. Thank you. You from Australia? I was in Sydney. Really? Yeah, I loved it. Yeah. Well, I have to say, your student did an amazing job. He's an amazing student. Yeah. It starts with having some noodles. He's smart. Thank you. Take care. Good day. This finger on the seam, this one off the seam. Mm -hmm. Now, we know that this one's going to get friction and this one's going to slip off. It doesn't have friction. So that ball is going to sink. Once again, middle finger through the middle of the ball. Index here, this went off the seam. Wow! It's a pop there, huh? It's there. See that? It looks like a hand. Alright. So we control this. You take those two fingers to my face mask. 
Never fingers up. All we gotta do is just do that and fill it in our elbow. Ah, that's terrible. Fingers down, to the wrist. Once again, the position of your head is gonna make your body weak and strong. The delivery looks great. But curveballs mechanically is the correct pitch, alright? So we control that by face paint. Ball's popping, you know. But where you're at, you can really see it. It's get, it's gets some giddy up with some movement. You didn't throw too many. Ball that went like this. The curveball just dropped off a table. It, it just did. went. What? <laughs> Which is the hardest thing to hit is that. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! That's a girlfriend maker. Because you got to have a round object hitting a round bat at precisely the size of a dime. If you can get people to hit around that dime, you're gonna get pop-ups and ground balls. But they're not gonna hit that, that's a swing and miss pitch. See you later, alligator. <laughs> Your fastball is getting better and better. Getting the hip through, just the simple action of this, opposed to this. You've got another foot in your, another yard in your fastball. Yeah. That's why we do things according to what we do in the game. My, my practice philosophy as a coach, not a bunch of stupid stuff. I'm gonna spend the majority of practice time doing what happens most of the game. Bada bing, right over my glove. I like it. Uh, a, a man reaches his strength peak about 30. You reach your endurance peak about 21. So there's two different ways. You're going to get stronger in the next few years. I can project you at 16 to 22 when guys get out of college. You're going to throw the shit out of the ball. And you've already got an idea of how to use the fastball. It, it even is better when I use a changeup, when I throw that Bugs Bunny curveball up there. And uh, I can make the ball move. And I can hit my spot. I can throw it where I want to. It doesn't, doesn't do any good to throw hard if you can't throw where you want to. Yeah, this is kind of fun. Help yourself out. Do the uh, do the physical work. You throw that you throw that curveball. He's gonna look like a monkey trying to recover a football. Huh? <laughs>